Okay, this is going to be the treasure chest tutorial. This is number four. So always, step one, do your free body diagram. So in this case, we have a 200 kilogram tre treasure chest, treasure chest, there's our mass, sinking at a rate of negative one meters per second squared. So meters per second per second, that is a unit for acceleration. So that's a known value. So we have mass and we have acceleration. We're looking for the buoyant force. What is the buoyant force? It tells it it opposes gravity acting on the treasure chest. So when you throw something in water, um, gravity tries to pull it through the water. And the force of gravity on an object is called its weight. But then there's a force that acts upward against gravity called the buoyant force. That's why um, so nothing sinks at the acceleration of gravity. It sinks slower because there's the buoyant force acting against it, Fb. That's the unknown here. But we do, well, we don't know weight, but we can calculate it. Remember, that's always step two in a vertical motion problem. Step one, draw the free body diagram. Step two, calculate weight. So weight is mass. 200 kilograms times gravity, which is 9.8. So we have 200 times 9.8. That gives us a weight of 1960, 1,960 newtons. So since the acceleration is downward, I know that the weight force is going to be slightly bigger than the buoyant force. All right, so step three is use our... Newton's second law, net force equals ma, to solve for what we're missing. So net force in this case is going to be buoyant minus weight. The two forces working against each other subtracted them. So you subtract them. So buoyancy minus weight equals ma. Buoyancy is what we're looking for. So we plug that in as the unknown minus the weight, which was 1960 equals mass, which is 200, times acceleration, which is negative 1. All right, let's solve for that right side of the equation. So buoyancy minus 1960 equals 200 times negative 1 is negative 200. And then last step to get buoyant force by itself, to solve for it, we add 1960 to cancel that out over here. So plus 1960. That cancels, so we're left with buoyant equals, and then 1960 plus a negative 200 would give me a positive 1760, 1760 newtons. So that makes sense. If we plug in a 1760 over here, it's slightly smaller than the weight, so that's why the treasure chest is accelerating downward. So to enter this answer, round to the hundredths. So you'd enter it as no commas, no plus sign, no unit. So just one, seven, six, zero. And then if you round it to the hundredths, it's 0 .00. So this is what the workbook, that's the answer it's looking for.